Hi, I'm Leanne Reimel. I'm a principal admin evangelist here at Salesforce. Did you know that you can use emojis in your experience in Salesforce just like you would text? Let's take a look at how you can add emojis to your list view names to make them pop a little more in your user experience. So I'm in my Salesforce org right now, and we're going to jump into one of our opportunity list views. And I can get to my opportunity list views either by clicking on the opportunity tab or using my handy carrot drop down here that shows me those recently used uh, list views. We're going to click into my top list views or my top opportunities. And this is where we're going to take a look at what we can name it. So we're going to rename this just like we would for any list view. Um, and also these steps will work if you're creating a new list view as well. Um, we're just editing one for expediency. Now, once I've got my edit window open, notice we're editing the name of the list view, not the API name. So we wanna, when we're using emojis, be, we're gonna add them to places like display names, labels. Um, we would never add it to an API name um, or anything that's sort of backend operations. We wanna only add emojis to places that our end users are dealing with. But we can go ahead and get to our emoji keyboard on our, if we're using a Mac by doing control command space. Um, I believe on Windows 8 or later, you can get to your emoji keyboard by navigating to your touch keyboard and then clicking a little emoji smiley face. So once we have our emoji keyboard open, it's pretty handy on your desktop that you can search. Um, there's over 2000 emojis now and they just keep growing with every Unicode release. So it's very handy to be able to search to find just the right star to add to our emoji um, or add to our list view name and make it great. So once we've added our selected emoji, we're gonna add our little star here. We go ahead and save it. And when we save it, the list view name is updated and now contains an emoji just like we hoped, right? And just like we expected. Um, but I wanna show you how the emoji is also reflected really anywhere that text is reflected um, to view. So it's reflected, of course, in this list view name here, but it's also going to be reflected in that Drop down of recent list items or recent uh, list views under our opportunities tab. And it's going to still be reflected if we do things like open this list view in a new tab on our navigation. And it's going to be reflected if we add that list view to our navigation bar as an end user. So this is a really fun tip to share with your end users and to use yourself to get even more productivity and fun out of our Salesforce environment. So if there's one thing you do after this video, make it checking out this blog by Mark Baseman on how as an admin, you can add emoji to your user experience throughout Salesforce, things like validation rule errors and help text. That's all for today. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.